Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to make a nice little Easter treat called Chocolate Ness and uh, I'm hoping that you will enjoy this recipe and uh, would like to make them as well. So first of all I'll give you the ingredient list. See if I can do this so you can actually see it. So it's uh, four cups of cornflakes, one and a half cups of chocolate chips, a quarter cup of butter, two tablespoons of honey, and uh, candy covered mini eggs. I will uh, make sure to uh, put this at the end of the video as well. And all you need for this is a muffin pan, a saucepan, measuring spoons, and measuring cups, and a spoon. I hope you enjoy this recipe. So first of all, we have to add the quarter cup of butter. Oh, number one, I almost forgot. Wash, wash, wash. We have to wash our hands. So I will do that. You want to make sure you have clean hands when you're doing this. So now that I have clean hands, we'll add the uh, quarter cup of butter to the saucepan. And we're going to add the two tablespoons of honey. So while that's heating up, I'm going to just put that in. This is a nice, easy treat that you can uh, do with your children, your grandchildren, your neighbors. It's a nice little little looking tree and it's so easy to do. So now we just have to wait for that to heat up. So you gotta just let that melt. So you can use any kind of candied covered uh, eggs and uh, cornflakes and chocolate chips. You can use a different kind. You can mix it up as in uh, milk chocolate chips versus semi-sweet, dark. I'd say you could even use flavors if you like. But I think regular chocolate chips would be the best. So while that is heating up, I guess uh, I'll just wish everybody a happy Easter. And uh, again, I can go over the ingredients, so it's four cups of cornflakes, one and a half cups of chocolate chips. Uh, the original recipe was one cup of milk chocolate chips and a half a cup of dark chocolate chips, but in my household we prefer semi-sweet. So that's what we're going to use today. And two tablespoons of honey, a quarter cup of butter, and the mini eggs. So the longest part of this, I think, is melting the butter and the honey. We're going to make sure it's all melted, so stir it around. You don't want it on too much of a high heat because you'll end up uh, burning your honey. So as soon as uh, that is done, we will turn off the heat. You can hear it uh, sizzling. Just about done. And we're going to turn that off. And then you're going to add your chocolate chips. So again, it could be one cup of milk chocolate chips and a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. I'm going to mix that together. So you get it off the heat now. And you just keep stirring that until the chocolate is just melted. If you want to see, it's uh, melting quite nicely there. So it shouldn't take very long. So I went ahead and sprayed my muffin pan just with a little bit of um, um, oil spray. Just so they don't stick, but uh, you don't have to do that. But so now that is all melted, I just got to stir in cornflakes. So again, it's four cups of cornflakes. Some people also use um, 
Chinese noodles. You can use coconut. You can probably use oatmeal. There's many different things, but today, for this purpose, I am using cornflakes. So you want to stir this to make sure the chocolate covers all the cornflakes. To make sure they're all covered because you don't want to see the cornflake cover. You only want to see chocolate. So it keeps stirring. It's almost done. Just a little bit more. See, you want to again see that they're covered. Once they're all covered, you're just going to spoon it into your muffin pan. Just like so. So you're going to spoon it in, just like this. So I'm going to push down the middle. Put this in all your muffin pans. And this should make uh, about twelve. Long time since I made these, but I remember how easy and what a big hit they were. Everybody loved them. So once you got your muffin pan, then you just take your little eggies and you put in three little eggs. Just put them in. So I got little uh, plain ones and little speckled eggs, and then you lay it in the fridge. Instead of putting that yellow one there, we put pink one. There, that looks nice. And you lay them in the fridge, and then you just take them out. And when they cool, um, with a spoon, you just pull it out, and you get a lovely little uh, egg uh, egg nest, which you can put around the table Easter day with your dinner for dessert. And everybody has their own. How pretty they are. Lovely little. So just to show you up close. There they all look like little egg cups. So again the recipe. So they're called chocolate nests. They look like little nests. And I wrote out the recipe for you to see. So chocolate nests. And the things that you need to make them. And the directions. Just in case you couldn't follow along, I will uh, show you here. So add the butter and honey, melt, turn off the heat, add your chocolate, stir until it's melted, then you stir in your cornflakes, spoon your mixture into the holes, push three little chocolates, and then chill for one hour. Then using a spoon, lift the nest out. Anyway, I hope you uh, all enjoyed this video on how to make chocolate nests. Enjoy. Have a happy Easter.